Our great philosopher Plato began his journey through life in Athens, Greece, in the year 428 BC. He was not born with the name Plato, though. His real name was Aristocles. His nickname Plato comes from the Greek word Platon, which means broad. Plato started his academic career studying the doctrines of Kratilus. During these studies, he developed the basics of metaphysics and epistemology. During the early 400s BC, political upheaval led to the Peloponnesian War between Athens and Sparta. Plato served in the military from 409 through 404 BC. He fought alongside the Athenian oligarchy of the 30 tyrants, the leader of whom was his uncle Charmides. Surrounded by influential people, spurred on his hopes of pursuing a political career. Being a popular Athenian brought him under the tutelage of the father of Western philosophy, the great Socrates. Socrates met his sad end in 399 BC, when he was forced to drink hemlock, or face exile from his beloved Athens. All this for the charge of corrupting the minds of the city's youth. This event affected Plato deeply, spurring him to leave Greece. He traveled from place to place for 12 years, ending up in Africa. While he was there in Egypt, he studied the philosophies of his contemporaries. As well as studying geometry, astrology, and religion. During this time in Plato's life, he began writing extensively. The actual order of which he wrote his pieces is unknown though. His writings were generally divided into three periods. The first were considered the Socratean Dialogues, most likely written during his travels from 399 to 387 BC. His next body of works were known as the Apology. In 387 BC, Plato returned to Athens and opened on land once owned by Academos, the school of higher learning known as the Academy. The school offered astronomy, biology, mathematics, political theory, and philosophy. The academy was to provide a place where thinkers could work towards better government in the Grecian cities. Plato would preside over the academy until his death. Between 387 and 361 BC is often called Plato's middle or transitional period. It is thought that he may have written the Republic, Phaedrus, and his symposium during this time. Twice, for short periods, Plato went to Syracuse to tutor Dionysus II and help the philosopher king develop the government. Both times, Plato left disillusioned and returned to Athens. After returning back to Athens, Aristotle, Plato's famous pupil, began to study at the academy. Plato's most influential work, The Republic, part of the Middle Dialogues, from which comes the allegory of the cave, was written during this period. Plato's final years at the academy may be the years when he wrote the later dialogues, which include Parmenides, Thetatus, Sophist, Statesman, and many more. In 347 BC, Plato died leaving the academy to his sister's son, Specibus. The academy remained a model of institutions for higher learning until it was closed in 529 CE by the emperor Justinian.